activity we're going to see how to create uh, a wired surface so first of all I'm going to start with a primitive for instance with a cylinder and what I'm going to do is the cap bottom I'm going to cap it with an end one okay. I'm going to add some more segments in here maybe 4 is going to be fine and I'm going to increase these to 12 ok something like that is fine and I'm going to click on OK I'm going to change its play mode to shaded. First of all, I'm going to change it to basic view. I don't like the result in here, so uh, I'm going to take the angon and go for an inset. Okay, so addition tab and inset. Okay, maybe a little bit more distance and validate. This is going to make me the new geometry to look much more elegant. Okay. Now let's imagine that I want all these faces to be uh, wire. First of all, I can change a little bit the shape, so I can grab these edges with double click. So I'm double clicking these edges and scaling a little bit into the to make a more organic shape. Okay, something like that's gonna be a little bit more beautiful. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select by faces all the faces so I'm gonna put the camera when it's fine for me to select all of them but the bottom part okay all of them but the bottom part what I'm gonna do now it's I'm gonna insert all of them let me display it again in basic view I'm gonna insert all of them so edition tab and insert but right now I don't want to insert them all together so I want to insert them individually so I'm gonna change it to individual Okay, something like that. And I can refine the shaping here, depending on the thickness of the wires that that I want. Okay, let's say something like this. It's fine. I'm gonna click on OK, and right now I'm gonna delete all those faces. So now are selected. Just click delete on our keyboard. Okay, and that's gonna be the new wire geometry. So if I smooth that, that's gonna be the result. Okay. Uh, let's imagine that uh, instead of having all rounded, I want the top part a little bit more flattened. So I can go to the front view, for instance. Let me also display it in shaded mode. And I can use the tool knife to add a segment along this part. So, uh, creation, I'm sorry, <laughs> edition, and knife. Okay, and I'm going to click a start point, for instance, in here, and an end point for instance in here and it's gonna segment all these parts in here so when I smooth that the top part is gonna look more flattened okay and the other parts just smooth if I want to repeat exactly the same to create another one here on the bottom part it just depends on what you want click and click and there we go so we can get different shapes for the wire geometry let's say that this is the shape that we're looking for what we're going to do now is we're going to select the entire object and we're going to use the command shell and addition shell to give the thickness so click on the shell and now let me refine the shape maybe we can create the new geometry to the inside part instead of the outside okay so for the outside maybe in here they can cross a little bit so in here we can just define here the shell distance and once we like it, just click on right click to validate, right click or enter. So in here we can create a wired geometry with different shapes. For sure in here on the top part I want to refine this shape, I can go for instance to faces, click, holding shift and double click, move, gamble, and I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and I'm going to drag it okay, to create an extrusion. Okay, just to have a more defined part in here on the top part. Okay, so that's how we create wired uh, geometries. Uh, adding new uh, divisions can change the shape that I'm creating. If the shape is uh, kind of square, the geometry when it's subdivided is going to be rounded. For sure, I can print out this model or this model, okay, depending on my, my needs. So, uh, we made this video because a lot of people were asking for that, so I hope that you like it, and thanks for watching.